Hello everyone, welcome to Techie QA channel. In this session, we are going to see about mobile application testing. So, like when you are testing mobile application, what and all you have to remember and what are the things you should keep in mind before starting mobile application testing and what are the scenarios, be it for example, if it is uh, like mobile based, device based testing also you have to do. Uh, if it is web application, you will just open it in the browser and you will check all the functionalities. Uh, that's it so when you are testing mobile application so some device specific things also you have to do along with mobile application which app you are going to test and uh, so there are some list i have given the major list when you are testing mobile application you should uh, remember about communication for example when you are testing uh, any apps if you are getting the calls or messages what will happen so if that your current application is able to handle the calls and the messages that's called communication that interruption testing will say it the technical technically and then orientation so let me open that mirror app like uh, your app is like it's in a vertical mode just go to play store is this working fine so when you are moving to okay screen when you are uh, just uh, rotate the screen how it's performing it looks wise and functionality wise everything is fine or not so this will be like a rotation then then uh, orientation is fine it should not affect ui and functionality and it should not crash or something and let me go to some other application flipkart if you see flipkart they didn't they didn't given for a like mode rotation is not there even i try to rotate also it stays it stays with vertical mode only okay so orientation is fine then we are uh, talking about platform platform is there is two platform majorly using now one is android and ios let me refresh this okay so android applications there is some, there is some guidelines uh, with respect to android that you have to check as per the android guidelines and uh, if it is ios application there is some functionality you cannot run background task in uh, uh, ios so all these things you should keep in mind when you are testing that let me okay so this is called platform uh, platform things then network network you should keep in mind uh, you your app should be able to work with uh, wi-fi 3g 4g with bad coverage so how it performs it at least it should say there is no internet connection or there is no stable internet connection some messages at least it's throw to the users simply closing the app without notifying the user if you have low network something it's bad right so they don't know why it get crashed because of device or network that's why if you see the iphone applications they will also test lot more time before accepting into the play store because people start using blaming the device if application getting crash they will start using like blaming the device then gestures in web application we don't have gesture like we don't have touch screen if it is touch screen we can check maybe yeah, and we have we will scroll and we'll check all the functionalities in device we have a touch mode we can do double touch i think you cannot see here maybe you can do in double touch of mobile you can pinch or zoom uh, you can do all the things so whatever gesture is there and if any sca scanning things are there that also we can do with the uh, device so when you are doing that with the app for example i open flipkart i am trying to uh, scroll speed and then uh, multiple tab so i am trying to do a lot of things so like randomly clicking on something so trying to do zoom zoom in zoom out okay so all the gesture thing we can do then comes to the notification when you are in offline online mode you will get a notification that uh, maybe if you added something to the cart it will say your your product is still pending already if you removed also if it is coming it's a bug then notification related check you have to do the same device you are getting whatever the devices you have logged in you are getting the notifications so there will be a lot of things we can do with notification as well so before testing or like when you are testing mobile application please remember communication orientation things platform network gesture and notification level so uh, there are something which is device specific 
and app specific also notification it is like a device based as well as apps based when you click on some pending notification when you click on that it should go to the respective app it should not go to some other apps or it should not go to the same app with other screen maybe that notification screen it should go otherwise it should navigate to if it is logged out it should not go to the notification or some uh, some other screen it should go to login screen login first then it will redirect so that kind of cases you can write based on these things you can write more cases uh, for the mobile application then let's come to the build type android like most of them knows it's apk you can download from play store or you can download from there are third party website apk pu some there are a lot of websites or you can share with your friends also using share it or bluetooth you can simply install on any device if it is development build or release build okay this build type apk uh, but if it is ios will get ipa and app we won't get it publicly actually if it is development build we cannot install on, install it on all the devices only approved devices we can for example your icloud id should be binded with their developer account or your uh, udi id should be binded with the developer account like out of these two any one should be there then only you can install that app otherwise you can down directly download from uh, play store sorry app store that's called ipa uh, if you are testing with simulator you have to use dot app ipa won't able to install with simulator so simulator in the sense like it will be act like a mobile device but it's a only just software and hardware support also but it will show like a device so that you have to create with xcode if you are if you want to create a simulator for ios android also we have emulator uh, if you have android sdk you can create emulator and you can create multiple emulator for multiple device os version and uh, if you are if you are not able to buy lot of devices for different different version you can create emulator in different different version and test it okay so installation person already told you like directly you can install ios you have to add add into the developer account your id ud id or test flight if it is released you can directly download then api validation for the mobile apps so uh, like most of the mobile apps there will be api for each uh, server like um, when you, when they are communicating with the server there will be api binded if you want to validate or if you want to uh, find what it's actually sent what it's actually came response these things we are we will use charles proxy burp suit fiddler and lot more proxy tools so like which one you are comfortable you can check it so all are easy only if the application is binded with https for example ssl it won't work simply you have to install the certificate as well like you can check my channel about charles proxy i have already some other videos how to work with charles and how to get for a uh, device and uh, how to get uh, api validation api things for mobile application as well as web application i have done okay so using proxy tool we can do the api validations mm. and if you want to check the logs for android you can check the ddms logs for example in eclipse i have one one more thing called ddms so here i have two apps only the debuggable build so whatever you are doing right so whatever you are doing maybe yeah i have open flipkart maybe you can search it here with the app name app name or package name okay these are all the flipkart app so now also i am doing some action this, this this will load you will get all the logs in ddms if any crash is happen you will get a crash log exception also otherwise you can directly go to the device go to play store check uh, search with logcat you will get a uh, apps so with with logcat also you can see the logs so once you installed it will show the device log in that you can filter with app name or something okay so this is the two way of doing uh, log in android in ios device in ios we can use i tools or uh, if you have developer tool called uh, like iphone developer developer tool it it should be a development build if you want to do the logs otherwise there will be one option called iphone diagnosis logs in your device only you can check it for these things i i can do i can do one more video because uh, i can tell you how to install ddms how to install this mobile app and check for iphone 
from where exactly you have to go and check the logs like how maybe android will we will get like we will get the reason also sometime or the class name also in this class name we got the logs okay for this case and all i can show and so on like with any app i can create or get it i can show you how can i how can we find exactly where the problem is okay that i can do some uh, different videos or, so that you will understand more about it about the logs this is just a idea like these are the way we will get the logs and same as ap validation we have already video so you just can check in the build type and installation process and logs i can show you in the different videos and future coming videos okay if you have any specific requirement for the mobile application testing or any specific app uh, which is made with the camera or some voice recordings related so there will be each app the test cases will be different so when you are going with audio uh, related stuff so you have to more concentrate on audio device mic how it perform how it's uh, reducing the noise uh, cancellation so these are the thing you should keep in mind so uh, the purpose of the app based on the purpose of the app our test case and test scenario will change okay okay guys i think uh, we have covered some basic stuff about mobile application testing so please uh, subscribe our channel as well for more videos and uh, upcoming videos about mobile application testing and other stuff also there in the playlist please check it once if you really like it please subscribe our channel and share with your friends if you have any comments please put into comments thank you